Howdy doody, Judy's booty! How's everybody doing today? I am bringing to you a couple of more Oktoberfest beers. Um, today, we're going to uh, visit Brooklyn Brewery Oktoberfest. And we're going to take a shot from my hometown, Chicago, and try. Goose Island Goose Oktoberfest. Ah, Goose Island. So good. Yeah, um, Brooklyn Brewery, first time and only time I've ever had any of their beer was uh, I tried their Brooklyn Summer Beer, their Summer Brew, um, a few years back. Not as a review or anything, but I just, I was privy to a few cans. And uh, I liked them a lot. Easy drinkability. Flavor, fabulous. So, uh, yeah. I saw this and I was like, well, hell yeah, let's try that. And on the eating edge of things, I picked these up in a, uh, not a blind buy, but a, uh, what is that called? Impulse purchase. Yeah, I saw them and I'm like, ooh. Let's get those. And they're uh, Duke's Smoked Shorty Sausages. When I say it out loud like that, it sounds weird. We got original recipe, and we've got hot and spicy. I will save the hot and spicy for later. Uh, according to this, it says this batch was freshly crafted with classic spices and herbs, fresh, never frozen pork, hickory hardwood smoke, and small batch care. Whereas this one was crafted with serrano peppers. Serrano's a little bit hotter than jalapenos, a lot less hot than habanero. If that gives you any indication, there you go. Serrano peppers, are usually the ones that they pickle and use on Chicago style hot dogs. I believe. I believe that's what they are. No, maybe I'm wrong, but you know what? It's okay. Serrano peppers. Little skinny. They look like the skinny cousin of the jalapeno. Like if jalapeno and serrano went out and they were chicks, serrano would be the hot one that all the guys were buying drinks for and jalapeno would be watching the purses. There you go. Uh, again, fresh, <laughs> fresh, never frozen pork, cherry wood smoke blend. This is this one is made with cherry wood, whereas this one was made with hickory hardwood. And again, small batch care. It says here batch case quantity 149. This one says 147. So they make small batches of this and give it extra attention, I suppose. So, which one do I have with which one? Well, since I said Serrano's are in Chicago hot dogs, I will keep the Chicago Goose Island beer for that. Let's start with Brooklyn Oktoberfest. Where's my bottle opener? I use bottle openers from now on. I don't take chances with them pop off tops because once I, I grabbed one and said, oh yeah, that wrench. It wasn't a twist off, and I jacked up my hand real nice. And uh, also, let me just show you these glasses here. Got these free Prairie Artisan Ale glasses. That's what I'll be using. Pay no mind to the print. We're not drinking Prairie Artisan Ale. So let's go first with the Brooklyn Oktoberfest. Well, there's a nice dark beer. Not dark in the sense of like black or anything, not a Guinness, but uh, that's nice. Look at that beautiful color. Turn away so you don't see the. I don't want to see. Can you see me? Mm hmm. 
Ah, nice rich aroma. That has like a... I don't want to say citrusy if there's no citrus in it, but it does have that citrusy taste. Kind of like a Sam Adams. I always go to Sam Adams because Sam Adams was the first beer I ever drank that had a really overpowering grapefruit flavor to it. So, it's not overpowering, but I do taste that kind of that zest. And what is this thing flashing here? Uh, don't tell me my memory card's going out. Son of a bitch. <sighs> my apologies for that little interruption there. Should have checked the memory card before I started recording. I have stuff all the way from way back when and ran out of space. So, had to dump everything and now I'm back again. So, as I was saying, this uh, Brooklyn Oktoberfest, flavor-wise, mm, cannot complain. Um, a little on the citrusy side, to me anyway, but uh, also we have these smoked shorty sausages. And do they have a little deal here? Like, yeah, there you go, make that easy. That opening easy like all things in life should be now they'll smell good one of these days I'm going to have to take a trip out to Fredericksburg a little sausage house out there not the Opa sausage house it's another like an independent sausage house and they have these really excellent smoked sausages I want to bring those and show them off one time oh those are dry like not in a bad way, but... Mmm! Oh, that's good. Pleasant. Very meaty. Excellent flavor. The ingredients on this say... Pork, sea salt, chopped parsley, cane sugar, natural flavor, spices, vinegar, roasted garlic, made with beef collagen casing. So the only beef on this is the casing. It's a uh, pork meat. But it's, um, it's not that like overly greasy kind of meat stick. Usually I have like oil all over my hands when I eat these, but these are really good what's the serving on these two links two of these has seven grams of protein and only one gram of sugar if you're on one of those low carb regimens grab two of these a little snack Delicious. Now, how does it pair with the brew? Oops, I ate all of that one. I have to get another. <laughs> Very tasty. You know? A little sip of this Brooklyn Nectar. I'm gonna hate to find out that it's Brooklyn and just Brooklyn. And it's brewed in Idaho or some shit. Uh, yeah. I have to say for the beer and jerky crowd out there, this is a hit. Mmm. Mighty tasty. My only... Yeah. 
My only real regret is that I bought these at Walgreens. And Walgreens, you, all, you usually have like a 50% markup minimum on every product you buy. So I could have probably found these at my local grocery store for a little cheaper. Um, I got what I paid for these. It was either close to six or close to seven bucks, but either way, I think I could have got them for like four something, maybe four dollars at a regular grocery store. Convenience charge, I guess. You know, it's a downtown Walgreens, um, which is comparable to any other Walgreens, but they always have that pricing where it's like, hey, you know, you could come to us, we're closer, and you don't have to get in a car and all this other jazz, and therefore you're going to pay dearly for what you get. So. <laughs> So yeah, these were good. Um, just a very meaty flavor. Nothing too overpowering. Meaty flavor. That's what you get. And oh look here. No MSGs, which is good. No gluten. That means you can have as many as you want. Added, no added preservatives. No liquid smoke. That's a pretty important thing right there because a lot of the meats use liquid smoke to get that smoky flavor. Uh, it's kind of a cheat. This uses smoke actual hickory hardwood smoke it's a good trait for a meat snack all in all Brooklyn's done it again Brooklyn Brewery Oktoberfest I'm loving it absolutely loving it and these Duke's original recipe smoke shorty sausages very good Moving on, I got two of these glasses, so I'm not going to use the same glass. Goose Oktoberfest. Goose Island is a brewery in my home city of Chicago. They had the, uh, they started out, I believe, with the 312 or the Goose Island. One of those two. But, um, this is, uh, da 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 da. Prized Hallertau hops. Well, I learned more and more about hops just reading the back of these bo these uh, bottles. I almost said Bibles. Um, reading the back of the bottles, I hear I learn a lot about different kinds of hops. Hallertau hops provide earthy bitterness to a multi body with pleasant hints of dried apricot and toffee aroma. Wow! Dried apricot and toffee. Hmm. I know I can't read. I didn't have the glasses on. Why did I take them off for? Now it's gonna look like I cheated. First things first, let's get down on this uh, Goose Island Oktoberfest. Goose Oktoberfest. Hmm. Okay. Not really catching that toffee aroma they talked about, maybe in the glass. Same color as the other one. Nice rich color. I love a good rich color. Not overly dark, but not too not too light. In some cases it's fine. Because the flavor more than makes up for that color. Sometimes I see lack of color as lack of flavor, and then I'm surprised by how much flavor it actually has. Kinda like the uh mm. Estrella Jalisco, that one had kind of a, a surprise waiting for me. I saw the color, I'm like, oh, it's pretty light. And it tastes like, oh, that's good. So uh, let's try this one out. Dried apricot with a toffee aroma. You have to have a discernible schnoz, I think, to really get some of these aromas because I'm smelling beer. Oh, that's pleasant. That's, uh, wow. Yeah. I do taste a hint of that kind of dried apricot. Just a hint. But uh, overall, it's not as citrusy as the Brooklyn. It doesn't have that, like, really overpowering citrusy taste. Not to me. 
I say not to me, I follow it up with not to me because some people taste it. What are you talking about? That's all citrus. Well, I don't taste it. So, this just tastes like a good, solid, uh, kind of a Bach beer. But these are both following the tradition of the Marzen style beers. Oh, I still got a little bit left. And we went over that in the last video. Mars and Mars, March. Remember the whole brewing thing? The time frame in which they could brew beer? Just a, a slight bitterness. Nothing that just, nothing that lingers. Nothing like, man, it's bitter. No, it, it's there for a bit and then it's like, see ya. Takes off. And as I said, I also have hot and spicy smoked shorty sausage from Dukes. Excuse me. Uh, let's see. Same thing as before. 7 grams of protein, 1 gram of sugar, no MSG, gluten, added preservative, liquid smoke. This one has a cherry wood smoke, whereas the other one had a hickory. So, let's get into this, shall we? With Serrano peppers. Diced red and green Serranos are the perfect peppers for our hot and spicy smoked shorty sausages because their natural oils add a flavorful heat that reminds us of freshly made salsa. That's not so bad. Salsa, yeah, you know. A flavor you can't get with just dried pepper powder. So they use actual dried Serrano instead of the chili powder. Oh. Oh, the aroma is heavenly. Cherry wood smoked serrano pepper induced shorty sausage. Huh. It's spicy, but hot and spicy, which are two different realms to me. Again, to me. Um, hot to me is like that, that really like grabs you by the tongue and smacks you around. Or spicy is just like, oh, okay, use pepper in that. I get it. Hot and spicy usually means like a uh, habanero to me. This is just spicy enough to let you know that, yes, there is pepper in it. But what's getting me, what's really, what's really selling me on this is the overall flavor. Because to be completely honest with you, when I bite into this and really taste it, really get that flavor, it reminds me of a uh, spicy Italian sausage. Yeah. Damn, I like that. That's good. But wait, you haven't tried it with the beer. How does it pair with the beer? Oops, once again, I made the mistake of eating all gone. So, I could just drink the beer right now. I still had some in my mouth, but hey. Now, after you eat like two or three of these, those oils, like they said, the oils from the serrano peppers kind of build up. And then you really start tasting that spiciness. Uh, 
I'm on my third one, and I can tell you, it's not anything that's gonna like send me screaming or it's not that crazy hot, but it is it is spicy. If you have a like a low tolerance, a super low tolerance to spicy stuff, if the pepper that you find in Kato salami is too much for you, if barbecue chips brings a tear to your eye, these may well be avoided by you. That's all I'm saying. If you have the mild salsa, if Taco Bell medium sauce sends you to the bathroom, you might want to steer clear of these. That's all I'm saying. Mmm. That's really good. Ah, okay. Now the spicy, salty sausage really brings out the sweet in this Oktoberfest beer. That hint of apricot they talked about is very prominent once you have something like this. Um, very pleasant though. Very nice. Very nice. If I had to give this like a, a scale grade from 1 to 10, give it a 7. Definitely. This one will get an 8. I hate to say that I gave a Brooklyn beer a higher grade than a Chicago beer, but it is what it is. The sausage gets a 9. All day, every day. Damn tasty sausage. Love it. Cheers, everybody. Ah. Yes, sir. So, there you have it, guys. Goose Oktoberfest. Brooklyn Oktoberfest. Both winners. This one edged out by a point, just because I dug the flavor a little bit more in this one. This was, uh, not bad. Not at all. It was actually very good. Um, I just preferred the flavor to the Brooklyn a little bit more. So, it's a matter of personal taste, as always. Uh, I'm sure there's people out there that will be like, both of those suck. Bud Light for life, baby. Whatever. But I hope you enjoyed the little uh, adventure into Oktoberfest beers in September. Why do them in October? That would be expected, right? And don't forget, Duke's smoked shorty sausages. Hot and spicy and original. Hickory smoke and cherrywood smoke. I like them both very much. I like the hot and spicy just a little bit more because it reminded me of spicy Italian sausage. So there you have it guys. Thanks for watching. Forgive the little technical difficulty I had earlier. And uh, if you liked the video at all, give it a thumbs up. I appreciate it. And tell your friends. Please bring them over. I can use a few more people to make videos for. Until next time guys. Thanks for watching. I'll be talking to you real soon.